Dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. This is Power Grind Boxing. Alicia Baumgartner, the undisputed queen, tested positive for a banned substance. And we got to talk about that right now. Look, this is the wide world of boxing. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Power Grind Boxing. Now, we all know in the realm of women boxing, there's a champion, right? And a champion's glory can be tarnished almost instantaneously by an unexpected twist. Now, Alicia Baumgartner, she's the undisputed super featherweight queen right now. And she found herself thrusted into the spotlight for a massively negative reason. And that is a sample has tested positive for a banned substance. And now I'm hearing that it's banned substances. Now, these echoes of, I'm gonna say revelation, <laughs> have been really reverberating through the world of boxing. Now, of course, Alicia Baumgartner, she has strongly proclaimed her innocence. And her claiming innocence is clashing with other doping scandals. And these doping scandals are basically rewriting the legacy of individuals. Yeah. So this is what I want you to think about. The world of sports is it's a big tale, right? It's a gigantic story of wins and losses and triumphs and tenacity. But what happens when a champion's narrative takes an unexpected turn? Because that's what it was, we're dealing with right now with Alicia Baumgartner. Her journey from the top of the top of success to a cloud of suspicion is a story that we all have heard before and it transcends the boxing ring. It goes beyond the boxing community. Alicia Baumgartner, she's celebrated. She's regarded as the best of the best. She's undisputed. And this undisputed super featherweight champion of women's boxing is facing a journey of all journeys. Because on her journey to greatness, a sample tested positive, right? Now, this, this sample was done from my research July 12th, 2023, just three days before she defended her hard-earned belts against Christina Lardatu. Now, I think his name is Lardatu or Lardatu. If I pronounce her name incorrectly, don't be angry at me. So, sample came back positive, right? For two banned substances. Now, the banned substances are, I'm looking at my screen, mesterolone and methanolone acetate. Now, they're classified as steroids. I'm like, okay. Now, Alicia Baumgartner, she is massively resolute. She's standing firm in her innocence. And she like, look, I'm here for it all. Give it to me. You know what I'm saying? What's up? I didn't do this. I would never do that. I'm trying to be a positive example, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And she got individuals who vouch for her. Like, look, you know, me and her had these conversations about using inappropriate enhancements. And she's against that. And we're against that. We want a clean sport. And I'm like, okay. She's asserting that the samples, that sample that was dirty is an incorrect sample. Now, she had two samples. I mean, she had a sample before and then she had a sample after. And the two samples after, they came back clean. 
So she got one sample that's dirty, two samples that's clean. So when she categorically denies any knowledge of any substance in her body, um, it seems as if that's believable because she is vehemently denying using any banned substance and she is stating that she is totally committed to a clean career and she expressed a determination to protect her reputation as a role model for aspiring young females. Now, once again, this has shaken up the boxing community and is sending shockwaves that extend beyond Alicia Baumgartner. They are directly and indirectly affecting Eddie Hearn and matchroom boxing. Now, of course, Eddie Hearn, he has already came out in matchroom boxing and officials, they confirmed the positive test and they sent out like a statement, right? And they assured that, you know, they are supporting Alicia Baumgartner's fight for justice while reiterating their commitment to promoting fairness and integrity in the sport of boxing. Now, all of these boxing authorities, right? They jumping into this, uh, this tangled web of doping, right? And we see, you know, I went to box rec, and as usual, Alicia Baumgartner's profile says that, hey, she is indefinitely suspended. So now Baumgartner's future is hanging in limbo. Then you got an order from the WBA to face a previous title holder. So what's going to happen? She's going to have to relinquish the belt. I'm just saying, like, what, what's what's going on? You do? Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, Baumgartner's career, she has a record of 15 and one, and she lost to Leonardo too, right? Got a lot of greatness. She, she faced Leonardo too, and then she improved. She just improved, that's what she did. She focused on improvement, and that's what she did. So now, she becomes, she, she has a lot of decisive decisions, right? Becomes undisputed. And now she gets hit with, hey, you might be on PEDs. And we just gotta believe this test. But the other two tests says that you didn't use any PEDs. Hmm. So now it leads me to say, what's going on? What's going on with the test? Okay, so now you do understand that tests are performed by humans and humans are imperfect. So now if we have three humans that performed three tests, one test says bad. Two tests say good. Who do we believe? Because there are fighters, you know, Tyson Fury, when all of the samples said that he used performance and enhancement drugs. All of the samples said, hey, all of these are bad. That's what you cat said from what I read online, of course. What do I believe? Do I just believe the character of these fighters? The character of Alicia Baumgartner? Flawless. Been a great example for the sport of boxing. So do I go with this one sample that says bad or these two samples that say good and the history of a person 
who's been dedicated to a good sport. What do I believe? What do you believe? Leave it in the comment section. What do you think about this? Because I do know that these people in laboratories, I know that they bring their phones in laboratories. I know their phones are in their lab coat pocket sometimes. I know that they contaminate sterile environments. So now if they're in a situation where they contaminated a sterile environment and an individual, not just Alicia Baumgartner, the individual pops hot and then instantaneously pops negative. What do we believe? To me, that's the type of situation that I'm in. Since I can't physically see with my own eyes, people say, you know, you got to trust the science. You got to trust the science. <sighs> I'm like, okay. Well, if I trust the science, right? One says good. Another one says good. And then one says bad. We got three tests. Two good, one bad. So do I just take the one that's bad? And what's crazy is, this is how our mind is set up. A person can do 30 good things and we focus on the one thing that they did bad. I'm not saying that this is the case, but I just want you to understand my thinking. So if two tests say that this girl is good, one test say she bad, what do I believe? What am I supposed to believe? Please let me know in the comment section. Do you understand my thinking? I'm not in these laboratories. Are you in the laboratory? If you are a laboratory technician and you do, uh, and you test for performance enhancement drugs, please leave that in the comment section. If you don't, leave that in the comment section. What is the process? What is the standard operating procedure for individuals who test these drugs? Who test samples? for performance enhancement drugs. Do you even know? Because if you don't know and then you make these comments, then it's like, hmm, what are you doing? What are you talking about? I'm just wondering. I'm just asking. I'm just asking questions, you know? I'm just wondering. So I'm in a position where from what I've seen of Alicia Baumgartner, she has represented the sport in a phenomenal way, with a lot of hard work, with a lot of discipline, with a lot of dedication. Wonderful person. I've met her, right? That doesn't mean that she can't cheat. So now what if she did cheat? Do I just believe that? And if she cheated, then why did those two samples say that she's clean and that one sample said that she's dirty? Because I understand that we can get fixated on both. We can say, well, look, uh, no, no, it has to be clean. It has to be clean because these two samples say she's clean. Or we can say, oh, no, she has to be dirty. She has to be dirty because this one sample says that she's dirty. What do I believe? What do you believe? Because this is a storm of controversy that is surrounding Alicia Baumgarten. Now, with the situation, I have to take a stand in my mind. So I look at a person who has been exemplary in behavior. And I have to look at her stance saying, look, I'm willing to work with you. Hey, let's do everything we can do to clear my name. So she has an unwavering stance. And I think that it should teach every person a crucial lesson. Integrity. Well, what is integrity? Integrity is the willingness and the devotion to do the right thing when there is no one around 
no one is looking and no one is putting pressure on you to do the right thing. That's what it means to have integrity. So you have to have integrity and you have to let integrity be your shield in times of turmoil. Integrity is your shield in times of crisis, in times of challenges. And as we are looking at all of these twists of faith that can be hurled our way, you got to remember that your character stands as a testament to your principles. So what kind of principles do you stand on? What is your character like? Now, just as Alicia Baumgartner is claiming innocence, right? Think about the values that define you as a person. Because this is how I view it. I'm thinking about the, the values that it seemed like she hold dear to her. And then I let that be my deciding factor because I'm telling you man adversity and challenges it cast shadows a negative shadow but the truth is light and the light of truth is authenticity is your principles is what guides you even through dark times so when I look at Alicia Baumgartner I think about all the challenges that she faced and I think about the sport. She understands that she is a champion of the sport. And when I say champion of the sport, I'm not saying just an individual who became undisputed. I mean, she's a champion of the sport, not a champion in the sport. There's a difference. A champion in the sport gains the belt. That's what she's done. So she is definitely a champion in the sport, but she is also a champion of the sport because she is trying to go out and promote and market to a younger generation of females that will become champion in a world that she may never see. So I respect the fact that she's a champion in the sport and a champion of the sport. And if I had a choice, I'm going to believe that she did not intentionally take a performance enhancement drug. And I have to use my brain because I saw her as a child. I saw her muscular frame. She's always been muscular. I see her, I see what she do. Everybody says that, hey, she's always been strong. See videos, see pictures, etc. I got the receipts. So now do I take her phenomenal career and her phenomenal path to be a champion? And I look at these science tests and two say that she's good, one say that she's bad. What do I believe? Do I believe all of these, do I, do I take the 30 good things and look at this one negative and say, oh no, I quit on her. Oh, forget it. Or do I say, hmm. I look at all these good things and I look at that one negative thing and then I make my own decision. I think you know the answer. Man, shouts out to Alicia Baumgartner. Man, shouts out to Eddie Hearn. Uh, matchroom boxing. I think those are the individuals. Uh, Leonardo, too. I think those are all the individuals that I mentioned in this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. This is Power Grind Boxing. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay on the grind.